Hey guys, welcome back to an episode of Coffee Talk. Uh, late night chilling, Coffee Talk. Um, I can't sleep, so I just figured I'd wake up and do a quick episode. Maybe just do one night until I get put to sleep. Um, how these usually go, I will turn down the music to the game and put my own music on. Uh, and I encourage you to do the same. Whatever uh, relaxes you. I'm currently listening to... Warm Dreams and Lo-Fi? Something like that. Uh, it's just chill trance. Um, let's go ahead and get the show on the road. God damn it, they keep putting me back like an entire day. There we go. September 30th, 2020. The Evening Whispers Protests arrive over government treatment of Atlantic immigrants More than made cars face challenges challenge against an unexpected competitor The Mother Earth organization fights to save more force uh, First thing we do is read the uh, whispers Loving in Silence by Freya Fatima. It was a Saturday night. As usual, I picked her up from her apartment for another Saturday night date. I used the word another. But to be honest, this was the first actual Saturday night date we'd done since... I don't even know when. It wasn't, our, it wasn't every week a cool event related to our hobby happened. So we, or I, I suppose... Oh, hey, welcome back. Yeah, I'm still, uh, I still haven't fallen asleep. <laughs> I can't, I can't sleep right now, so for, I just decided to do a, uh, episode of my late night chilling, which is basically where I just kind of do uh, this little story game. Um, I've turned off the music, uh, so I generally suggest, uh, put on something that relaxes you, you know, like. Whether that be heavy metal or trance, and kind of follow along. If you want, and I try to interact with people during this uh, the best I can as well. Um, I use the word another, but to be honest, this was the first actual Saturday night date we'd done since I don't even know when. It wasn't every week of cool that ha related to our hobby happened. So we, or I, I suppose I should say, weren't going to miss this chance for a cozy evening in her apartment. Oh, well, I'm glad you decided to kill time in my uh, stream. Thanks, Alex, too, and welcome to the stream. Uh, you're always welcome here, you know. Uh, we'd only been dating for four months, and I kid you not, we couldn't have been more different. I'm the type of person who feels restless. If I don't go out on the weekend, uh, I'm the type of person who feels restless if I don't go out on the weekend. While she'd prefer to lock her apartment from the inside, flush the key down the toilet, and never leave again. That's why me going out to her apartment on the weekend was the fairest option for both of us. I mean, we can just order food online and chill without having to worry about the traffic. Ain't that cool? That's what she said whenever I asked if she wanted to eat out somewhere. That happened a lot in the first month together. After that, I just tried to get used to it. We drove to the event. It wasn't that far. But traffic's always ridiculous on the weekend. Throughout the drive, uh, we barely spoke. Total silence except for the music playing from my playlist. If she knew the song, we would sing along to the song. If not, then total silence it was. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. I appreciate that. 
When we arrived at the event, she changed. She became the most outgoing, friendly, and talkative person around. Even if I was nothing compared to her, and I usually consider myself a very talkative person. We said hi to everyone we knew, and some we didn't. Then we tried all the games being showcased there. We sat next to each other. Uh, trying one game after another, commenting on the story, art, music, gameplay, atmosphere, any other aspects you might use to judge a game. But when we played, we just played. No talking during the playthrough. Total silence, as if she was recharging spent energy from all of the interacting she'd done before. Back in her apartment, we didn't talk much. She made two cups of green tea latte for both of us, and then we watched Netflix together with only a few words traded. Don't you feel bored dating me? She asked. Really? This again? I... I know. I'm sorry to bring this up again, but... You were so silent today. I, I thought you were mad at me. Well, honey, I'm not mad at you. Why would I be? I... I don't know. It's just... It's just that I'm super introverted. You're super extroverted. And there are times when I feel like I'm holding you back from your true self. You're just overthinking things, honey. Tonight was amazing. I can't thank you enough for being willing to join me and sacrifice your stay-at-home relaxation time. We both know how much you love staying in and how rarely you get the chance to do it. Why do you like me? You've asked this question a dozen times in the last four months, you know. I nudged her and smiled. I just... I just wanted to make sure. She said and started crying. Hey, 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 don't be sad, it's okay. Uh, to answer your question, I don't know why I like you. That answer again? Because it's true. All I know is really comfortable. All I know is I feel really comfortable around you. I just feel happy calm and I, I i don't know do i need to know that sounds dangerous liking someone without knowing the reason oh believe me dear i was confused for the longest time before i realized it's actually the best feeling i've ever had how about you why do you like me who said i liked you i was speechless for a moment she grinned at me and giggled through the remains of her tears you should have seen your face Oh my god, don't mess around with me like that. You almost gave me a heart attack. Good, it means you weren't lying about your feelings, she smiled. You haven't answered my question. It's a secret. That's not fair, I told you mine. I hate to break it to you, but don't know is not a proper answer, my dear. But it's an honest one. I know. We stayed silent again. So that was my introvert girlfriend and me. My answer to her was obviously a lie. Not knowing why you like someone is super scary. But I never imagined being able to feel like that for anyone other than her. At least that's how I wish things could be. I thought as I drove back home, alone, in my car, in total silence. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the, the Resi game. Kirby, welcome. Good evening, sir. Hello. I am from the Federal Immigration Regulation and Enforcement Division. Or F-I-R-E, for short. How may I help you? We've heard reports of alien sightings in this area. We take the issue of illegal interstellar immigration seriously. Have you seen any creature you would consider to be alien in nature? Hmm. Uh, I don't think so. Well, what should I be looking for? What's the alien look like? We're not 100% sure. But according to some eyewitnesses, it's wearing a spacesuit or something similar. That's, uh... A pretty eye-catching outfit. You'd think an alien would try to blend in better, right? Agent 47. <laughs> to avoid attention, you know. That is a very good point. In fact, there might be a solid possibility. 
that we have been running around after false toss or testimonies. They are superior creatures after all. Thank you for the help. If you see any suspicious activities, please contact us through our website. Will do, sir. You don't want to drink anything before leaving. We're good. Take care on your way. Phew. I appreciate all the love, guys. You really need to be more careful, Neil. Huh? Good evening, Kirby. Yo. Hello, Miss Aqua, Miss Myrtle. Have you both been somewhere together? We plan to meet here. It's just a coincidence we arrived at the same time. Would you like to order anything? Do you want to order first? Nah, you go first. Okay. Can I have a cup of green tea with a lot of mint? Green tea with a lot of it. Okay, so Marrakesh. Green tea. Your drink's ready. Oh. This looks really fresh. I call this Marrakesh, inspired by its origin. Marrakesh in Morocco? I heard the people there really love tea. Let's give this a try then. Oh my. It's warm, but very refreshing. No wonder Morocco is often associated with tea. How about you, Miss Myrtle? Do you want to order right away? Sure. I'll have the tea, Tariq. Uh, thanks, Alex. I appreciate that. That means I'm doing something right. <laughs> Tea Tariq. Ah, oh, crap. Oh, there it is. Tea Tea Milk. Here's your tea, Tariq. Hmm. Is there anything wrong? No. It's better than I thought it would be, actually. The taste is really authentic. Just like the tea, Tariq, you get in Southeast Asia. Oh my god, don't, don't listen to Alex. The, everybody here, do not move to Spokane, Washington. There's nothing there. Thank you for the compliment. Where did you learn to make it? I traveled around Southeast Asia a few years ago. So you learned about it in Malaysia? Yes, and from videos on the internet. So, um, how are things going in the office? As usual, tiring. But thanks to you and your team, we've made some good progress with the problem we've been stuck on for a while. I'm glad I could be of help. It's not every day our research can have an impact as direct as this. Only a few weeks after publication, no less. The thing is, even with your help, we still need to do a ridiculous amount of overtime make sure the game will be available for the holiday season. Oh. I want to say, please don't forget to rest. But I'm sure it won't be that easy for you and the team. Ha. Huh. As if those executives care about us. Overtime is not mandatory, they'll say. Please see your family, get some rest. But we all know that optional overtime is a passive-aggressive move. We'll stay longer in the 
office anyway. Because if you go home earlier than the others, you'll feel bad for them. Oh yeah, did he give it to you? I kind of forgot. You'll feel bad for them. You'll feel guilty. I understand that so much. I hate to admit it. But yeah. It's guilt. I wish I could help you. Or at least say something to boost your morale. Sadly, I'm not the right person to give you advice about that. For guilt is something that also bothers me a lot. Even for things I shouldn't feel guilty about. And you know what makes it worse? I know the state of the industry. But it still saddens me to realize that my favorite series... ...was born out of such sacrifice. So these two are game developers. Uh... Aqua, like, writes the coding or something, or she writes, like, the the overall coding for it. Um, and the orc uh, writes the coding, and she's working on her Aqua's favorite uh, franchise. And that's kind of how they started talking. And now they're, like, friends. I'm sorry I ruined the mood for everybody. Don't worry about it, Aqua. I'm not that bad off, you know. At least the company gives us decent compensation. Healthcare, bonuses, and so on. And we're already used to this. So don't you worry about me, okay? Delron, you should give him a follow for helping you. Getting used to un unhealthy working conditions shouldn't be a norm. Hey, cheer up. Remember, your research helped us your research helped us out a lot. Thanks to you, the rest of the development is gonna be much easier. How's your game going? How's your game doing by the way? Actually I've got some I have some good news about it. What is it? The game got approved to be showcased at Max West this year. Sometimes you need to move. <laughs> the game got approved to be showcased at Max West this year. That's really good news. Congrats. Thank you. So, what's the problem then? I haven't confirmed my attendance to the organizer. Just ignore him. Just just ignore Delron. He's trying to start a cult. Mur Myrtle, why? Confirm it. Fast. Before they give your spot to another Indian. I... I'm just not sure about it. What's stopping you? Cost? The booth is free for Indies. That's good then. And the events even in Seattle. That's good then, and the event's even in Seattle. You don't need to spend anything on travel or accommodation. That's a golden ticket. But, I'm not that confident. You passed the selection process, right? That should be enough validation to reassure you of the game's quality. If I'm not mistaken, the judges are usually prolific people in the industry. And also senior journalists. I know. But I've told you about my game, right? It's pretty non-traditional. And thousands of people will be visiting Max. Expecting Full Metal Conflict and other bigger games. Every game has its own market, you know. 
And you'll be in the indie area. People know what to expect there. Oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Gamers... <clears throat> Gamers aren't stupid. What if some haters visit the booth? What if they don't like my game and say bad things about it? Or about me? That's not gonna happen. It's an expo, not the internet. People are way nicer in real life. <sighs> Even after all that, I'll still be there by myself for the whole event. Hmm. That one is a problem, yeah. Meeting that many people is already scary enough. Doing it for days straight? Showing my baby to the public? I just can't imagine the horror. You know what? Huh? So far my schedule is pretty empty. Empty around then. If things stay this way until max, I'll come with you. <gasps> no, you don't have to do that. Even if you're free then. You shouldn't waste your time on me. R relax or something. Nah, it's no bother. I'll be going to the to the event anyway. Might as well come with the exhibitor badge. What about your company's booth? Don't worry about it. <clears throat> there are hundreds of us. I can just ask my lead to skip this here. But, 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 I'm coming with you. Whether you like it or not. Oh, okay. Good. Now, what are you going to show the game on? I'll have a laptop and a smartphone. Is the expo build ready? No, that's evil. <laughs> Is the expo build ready? Expo build? We're not planning to showcase the full version, right? Um, that's the plan. Don't. If I can give you the guidelines on what to have for the expo build. Do you have the game with you now? It's on my phone. I can send you the bill now if you want. Do so. Okay. Got it. Now let's see. Oh yeah, it's Rachel. So Rachel is a pop star in this world. And uh... She was fighting with her dad because she wants to... Uh, go solo. She just turned 18. Uh, she wants to go solo and and have her own manager. Um, but her dad knows how the business is run. So he's trying to protect his girl. You know, like his little daughter. Hello, Miss Rachel. Hi, Kirby. Um, what's wrong? Huh? Nothing. I've just been practicing all day and I'm pretty tired. Are you having a concert soon? Don't tell anyone yet. It'll be announced tomorrow. But I'm going to perform at Coachella next week. They're still adding new performers? Yeah, you might say that those announced this late are... Uh, yeah, I'm playing it on the Xbox. I believe it's also on the PlayStation, uh, and I think it's on the Switch as well. Backups. Oh. But it's still the biggest festival in the country. He <laughs> yes. And I'm excited for it. I think I should celebrate with a special drink, something sweet. What do you want to order? A sweet hot chocolate.
maybe it's this. What, what the fuck is this sweetheart? Oh, chocolate. Chocolate, honey, milk. Perfect. Chocolate, honey, honey. Yeah, it's a really fun game. It really is. And, like, if you, if you don't uh, give some people the right drink, they might, uh, they, you'll close off storylines with them. So it's, it's cool to just, like, just play through. It's very chill. I used to do it on Saturday mornings and drink coffee along with it. Um, I'm going to dip out for now, though. Just want to listen and watch. And heads up, Alex does occasionally stream with me uh, vicariously through me. And I think we're going to be doing Mario this weekend at some point. Honey chocolate. For my honey. Your sweet hot chocolate is ready. Thank you. How is it? Hmm. Not bad. It's not special. But it's enough. Please don't hesitate to call me if you need anything else. Thanks. Other than the instruction on the loading screen, try putting a time limit on how long they can play. Why? Wouldn't that break their immersion? Probably, but in case there's a good reaction to it, you might have people lining up to play your game. Don't want to make them wait too long. That makes sense. How how on do how do I on Twitch and switch? Uh, it will cost you about two hundred bucks. <laughs> but I'll set it up on my end so you can be heard uh, over here. Uh, and it won't cost you anything. Don't worry. I've, I I've got I've got the setup over here. Awkward. That makes sense. If you don't want to put a time limit on it, uh, just jump on Xbox Chat when we play. If you don't want to put a time limit on it, try ending the demo with a cliffhanger. That should get people's attention. Noted. Dad? What are you doing here? After what you did at the studio this evening, I was worried I couldn't find you anywhere around the studio. So I thought you'd be here. And now you're causing another ruckus. We're sorry, Kirby. We didn't mean to cause you any problems. You are sorry. I don't have anything to be sorry for. Well, anyway, I better order something. What are you having? What would you recommend? Might I suggest a cup of Spanish Sahara? Oh, what is that? It's basically hot chocolate with milk and ginger. Sounds delicious. I'll take that Spanish Sahara. Yeah, I'll, I'll explain it to you later, um, Alex. But it won't cost you anything to run it. Chocolate, milk, and ginger. Your drink is ready, sir. Why am I? This is amazing. Glad you liked it. Dad. Yes? Please just go home after you finish your drink. Not until you leave that good-for-nothing pervert. I need him. He's going to help me make, become more successful. I know Morris. He is not a good person. The industry has changed, Dad. 
It's not like 20 years ago. Besides, since you left, he's been growing his band, a brand, making his name. Managing of a lot of stars so they become superstars. I still have my increments in the industry. He hasn't changed much. And even if it has, it wasn't for the better. You're just being paranoid. First, you were afraid of how my fans would treat me. Now you're afraid of the industry too? What's next? You'll lock me in the house because you're afraid of the air I'm breathing? You're just too young to understand. To make me understand. Because this is definitely not helping. There are better ways. Didn't you learn anything from mom? You were together for almost 15 years. But you learned nothing. Not even how to talk to your own daughter. Rachel. I... I'm sorry. But I'm trying, okay? Try harder. Because right now, you're not helping anyone. Yeah, she's going pretty brutal here. Not me, not you, no one. I know. But give me a chance. It, you know what? It will take time for me to learn. But I am learning. Or, you know, I could return to the industry. I could try to be your manager. Dad, are you out of your mind? You've been out of touch for so long. I told you I have informants there. I'm not that out of touch. Of course, there are things I need to figure out. But we... It doesn't work that way, Dad. You know that. Going from a girl band to a solo career won't be easy. If I take things slow... I'll lose all my momentum. If you don't want me to be your manager, can you at least choose someone other than Morse? I don't think so. Mr. Lester is at the height of his career right now. He's my best chance right now. Don't be too paranoid, okay? I've made my decision. Now please go home. Relax, and don't ever come to the studio again. I'm going back there. I need to practice for the festival. It's only a few days away. And it's a big chance to boost my presence as a solo artist. When are you going to be home? I don't know. I'll be staying at the hotel the label provided. But that's... See you, Dad. Wait. Rachel. Ex excuse me for a moment, Kirby. Um... Sorry about what just happened. You don't have to apologize. Yeah, we were busy minding our own business anyways. What, you didn't hear the argument, Myrtle? Of course I heard them. I just chose to ignore most of it. It's none of my business, is it? That's amazing. What's so amazing about that? I don't think I could do that. Dividing and focusing my attention so completely. Especially when there's an argument like that. Are you saying you weren't listening to my advice and you were focusing on them instead? No. No, I was listening. I made notes. See, you didn't even realize. But you are capable of focusing your attention. Now that you mention it. It happens naturally, I guess. 
Being born into a big family is useful after all. Yeah, sometimes you don't even realize what we're capable of. She's a, she's a Atlantean. Uh, so she actually came from the sea and they're, they're essentially kind of frowned upon in this culture. Uh, because it's like, it's, it's kind of the game's way of tackling some of the, uh, racial issues that we face in our day-to-day -day life. There's a lot of parallels in this game, uh, between what we, uh, what we come across in real life versus, like, kind of what they're portraying. Uh, yeah, sometimes you don't even realize what we're capable of doing. By the way, you want to head back now? Yeah, it's pretty late. Yo, Kirby, we're leaving. Hope you had a good time. Thank you for the drinks, as usual. Please take care on your way home. Oh, I guess that's all for two. Oh, you're back, Mr. Hendry. <sighs> Are you all right, sir? Sir? Oh. Yes, yes. Please don't worry about me. Did you manage to catch up with Miss Rachel? No. I lost her. I'm sorry to hear that. But I'm sure she's alright. I hope you're right. By the way, pardon me for asking. Yes? Throughout your arguments with Miss Rachel, something kept bugging me. What's that? Why did you leave the music industry? <laughs> now that's a trip down memory lane. You don't have to tell me if it makes you uncomfortable. Oh no, it's fine. I left around 20 years ago. Just as we were welcoming the beginning of the new millennium. It was a great time for girl bands, you know. They were huge in the 90s. They were still enjoying the leftover sensation of the past decade. I met my wife while working. She worked for a record label. That's how we met. I decided to get married and settle down. I wanted a peaceful life. You didn't find peace managing girl bands? Oh gosh, no. The politics, the dark side of the industry, none of it's good. But what hit me hardest was the fans. Toxic fans are the worst. The teenage girls especially. They were crazy about their idols. To the point where they started doing really unimaginable stuff. Like what? Spending all their money trying to copy the superstar lifestyle. Abandoning their responsibilities, their families and the men. They were even worse. They sexualized the girls in every way you could possibly imagine. Edited photos, stalking, outright sexual assault. It was before the internet, mind you. I mean, the internet existed, but it wasn't as mainstream as it is now. I wasn't even the target of the abuse. <laughs> this dude is so creepy. <laughs> but, it haunt but it haunted me. It was everywhere. Don't talk to me about peace. I couldn't sleep back then. Not getting enough sleep is dangerous for cats. What do you do for a living now? After we got married, my wife and I opened a record store. It's not big, but we have a very specific audience, or niche, but they love us for it. It's more than enough for our little family. You said you're still in touch with your friends in the music industry. They visit my place from time to time, and we all meet up at least once a year. Usually it's at my place. Gosh, look at the time. I should go home too. Are you going to be alright by yourself? Don't worry about me. 
I'm an old cat. Oh, oh dear God, here we go. We're stronger than most people think. See you later, Kirby. And sorry for bringing our fight to your place. Don't worry about it. All right, then. Goodbye. Alright guys, um, I do need to get to bed because I need to be up at 6 at some point. I just wanted to uh, stream and put up an episode of uh, Coffee Talk. Uh, if you like the Coffee Talk uh, episodes, I don't really have a set schedule for them. It's just more like um, kind of what I do after uh, late at night if I'm in a wanting to relax kind of mood. Um, and I have them all collected in a collection uh, on my page. If you want to go back and watch them, it's not not required reading by any means, guys. Um, I got some feedback today. Apparently, I'm decent at voices, so I'm trying to uh, I'm trying to put more umph into it. Now nah, you're good, bro. I have a, you guys are fantastic. Thank you for uh, hanging out with me uh, this time at night and uh, and watching my stream. And I hope that uh, that I made everyone a little bit more chill for just those 42 minutes. Hey, no problem, Mike. You're you're always welcome on my stream, bro. And uh, and I'm I'm glad that I could make your morning awesome. Honestly, even Alex and his crazy cult status is always walking on the stream too. <laughs> but I hope you guys have great uh, days um, or have a great day ahead of you. Get some sleep. If you're just waking up, go get some breakfast and some coffee because you just watch Coffee Talk. And, uh, <laughs> and I'll see you guys in the next stream.